Welcome back, everybody, for some more Harold Hardrada. Last time we had the big, big one with Thor's hammer. Uh, so yeah, that was a pretty epic one. And next up is going to be Loki's tongues, which is apparently going to be a little bit easier, but we shall see. Uh, the Byzantine Emperor Michael IV was a politically astute monarch as well as a brave general. He was never stingy with the people of his empire, especially with Harold and us, the Varangian guard. Besides, he had never... He never had the word disappointment written on his face. That is very clearly some expression that makes a lot more sense in Chinese than it does in English. Uh, and he had confidence of every one of our expeditions. Uh, but conflicts and wars always threatened the empire from multiple directions. The battlefront to the east had just been temporarily sub subdued. Uh, Michael IV immediately moved his attention to the territory in the west, southern Italy and Sicily. A uh, new mission came to Harald again. We followed George Maniakes, the Catapan of Italy, uh, sailed from southern Italy to Sicily, uh, and then disembarked there and prepared for sieges. Our mission was to recapture the lands of the Empire, uh, which seized... Which, the lands the Empire seized... Uh, lands of the Empire that had been seized by the Muslims 200 years ago. Oh boy. I believe with General Maniakes, outstanding military command skills, something, something... Uh, there is another force along with us to Sicily. The Norman mercenaries came from southern Italy. Apparently, they were not as well equipped as our Varangian guards. Some of them did not even have decent armor, and some of them only had an iron helmet. Of course, what impressed people was not their appearance, but their greed for money and power, because they had nothing in Normandy. More and more thirsty Normans came to Italy to explore the wealth there all the time. Oh boy, I got like Bari and uh, the Otvies going on. I took a sip of water. Uh, yeah, we have to take command and siege. Oh, um, oh, wait, there's a timer? Uh, Harald must survive before the conquest of the city of Syracuse. Kill the garrison in Messina, city to the north, and capture the monument. Kill the garrison in Syracuse, city to the south. Oh, it's a secondary objective. But we're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. Uh, Varangian Guard under Harald's command can support a pop of 200 and uh, research Imperial Age. Once Harald's army is in Imperial Age, the Varangian Guard will be enabled. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, sal salary for Harald will be continuously and periodically paid by the Eastern Roman Empire. Very, very nice. Uh, it's not necessary to destroy all of the buildings within the Sicilian cities. Once uh, the garrison is eliminated, as well as capturing the monument in Messina, Harald will become the new city owner. To remind Harald's army, uh, to remind that Harald's army will obtain the inhabitants support after the conquest of the city of Syracuse. If Syracuse is conquered earlier than Messina, the siege of Messina will not be the main objective anymore. Okay. Uh, beware of the threat that comes from western Sicily where the Arabian base is located. Fishing is good if you can protect your ships and do not attempt assaults in northern Italy. The Normans cannot be completely eliminated. Focus on your major objectives. This one seems much shorter. Um... So you're sieging the two cities for the Byzantine Empire. The Normans are now under William de Otvi. That's a familiar last name. Uh, who's from uh, France. His Norman knights will have powerful strikes and stuff. Norman influence started to spread out in southern Italy as time goes by. The stronger forces may soon be a potential threat for the Byzantines. Sicily was conquered by the northern African Muslims after campaigns with the Byzantine Empire. Uh, and the Sicilian Muslims will soon meet Byzantines again. Their horsemen, monks, and even fleets will assemble. And stuff. Okay, so the way I read this, uh, we shouldn't destroy any of the buildings and should instead focus our efforts on just killing the garrisons, because then we'll get the buildings and we don't want to lose any buildings we ourselves could use. Oh, well, don't, don't know if the siege tower, or don't know what the siege tower is really uh, going to be used for. Anyway, this is a pretty awesome army. Norman Knights. Got Cataphracts, Berserks, Arbalests, Varangian Guard. Oh, there's the monument. Okay, there we go. That all makes sense to me. Oh, uh, we have some resources. Okay, we don't have a blacksmith. We can get Thumbring. Chieftains. I don't have a barracks. I, 
Okay, I can see Syracuse is down there to the south. Oh, actually, we also have some longboats. Oh, I see a dead body right there. That's not too promising. Okay. Oh, there are two castles here. You know what? Let's take down this castle. I know it's going to like weaken our position, but I don't think our army is going to be good enough. Just realized fishing ships exist. Yeah. I'll at least have one castle alive. I just don't think this army is going to be able to take under two castles. That seems like a, a too tall of an order. Normans are now satisfied with conquests for the Byzantines. You cannot deserve as much booty. You know, life is always just about uh, that quest for booty. Killing the ships, sinking the ships, very nice. Yeah, I don't think we could have gone in under two castles. I think that was probably smart. We can always just rebuild the castles later. Oh, uh, well, I mean, even so, even so, uh, we will not fight for the Byzantines. Well. Screw you, man. Stop running away! Our leader's in danger. Uh-oh. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, we got it. All infantry received plus four attack? I guess that's what we get for getting the city. I heard about you, the one who makes people feel shocked. Oh, no, wait, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. On our trebuchets. Okay. Um. Save the trebs. What is even going on? Prevent the Eastern Roman Empire's castles from collapsing, I suppose. Okay, we have lots of area explored now. Uh, okay, so what the hell is even going on? So we have pretty much all of south southern and eastern Italy, Sicily rather, under our control. Calabria seems to be firmly in the hands of the Byzantines for now. Emphasis on the for now. And uh, do we fight the Emirate of Sicily? Okay, there's gold in here. Oh, come on, man. Are you not going to give me any any room for town centers? What is this trolling? Elam! Everything is hills! <laughs> Oh, we have so much gold in the bank. Okay, it's a mountain. Uh, do we have a market? No, we don't. We should probably get one. Okay, so once again, we have to protect our allies, the Byzantines. The Apulian Rebellion. There's, I mean, there's a lot of Italy on this map. Yeah, it might be worthwhile eventually to just defeat the, uh, the Emirate of Sicily.
Wait, so the Normans and Apulian Rebellion, I guess they're both located over here. Defeat the Normans to temporarily stop. Okay. Oh, if even one of the castles falls, they're, uh... They'll become stronger! Uh, I had a lumber camp commission somewhere, right? Probably not. Yeah. I mean, we can get a really sick fish boom going. This is what we deserve! <laughs> Byzantine's always telling us what we deserve. Let's repair these trebs. No, don't with the don't go with the shorefish. Oh, they're already in Imperial Age. I didn't even notice. Um, let's get like some monks just to heal up our guys. Oh, wait, no, repair the trebs. Fiskimata. Okay, lesson learned. Guess we can start taking some gold. Get the other one. Okay, so we have several archery ranges already. So let's start making some crossbowmen. Kind of like the last scenarios, they're going to serve us better early on, earlier on when we're, our eco is smaller. I want to build another town center, man. My inner boomer cannot handle this having 200 pop limit and lots of resources, but don't have space for more TCs. Oh, come on, I can't fit one here. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have these siege towers. Oh, God. Um. Okay, so... We need to bring our army over to our allies, like, pronto status. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, boy. These Normans do not arm with decent armor, so... So we can just pick up a tree club. I don't know, man. They got plus two, plus two. They got plus two, plus four. Holy crap. Their leader is in danger. From what? Oh, God! No! Not my trebs! Um... Um... I'd love to send some guys to help you out, Byzantines, but, uh, I kind of have a bit of a situation here. No, not Harald! Also, not the Trebs! They're literally irreplaceable right now. Oh no! How are you guys holding up? Oh, okay, they've been able to repel at least the first wave of attackers. That's good. Because I already have decent upgrades too. Okay, we got the Treb. Oh, 
Timber Hoffman Day. So it seems like I might need to defeat the Sicilian Emirate, or Emirate of Sicily. Because if I get attacked like that all the time, it's going to be really hard to send troops over to uh, Calabria. In case you didn't know, Calabria is the, the toe in the boot of Italy. It's just the name of the region. Oh, go get him. We'll have plenty of opportunities to utilize our navy. We already have six docks. And perhaps this is a way we can uh, help out our allies without having to commit manpower. Uh, you guys go mine stone. Also click up to imp. Oh wait, I already had a university. I didn't need to build another one. Rip! Pretty cool looking map. This is what we deserve. Get gold shaft mining, I suppose. Yeah, also, we're just going to need to probably take out the Emirate of Sicily for the sake of getting resources. Maybe we can send in some guys now. Send 20 crossbowmen over. Maybe send some villagers to repair that castle. Oh, wait! <laughs> We have the Sicilian team bonus! Oh, I hope we're there in time to save the dudes. Anyway, let's go to uh, all of our upgrades. Oh no! Oh, and now we're getting attacked by the Emirate of Sicily. No, stop them! <gasps> yes, distract them. Repair! Okay, well, don't go in before my army. Two hundred! Oh no, Harald! Get some Varangians, I guess. Wait. Oh my god, I lose those villagers. Oh, those are all janitors, man. Don't even have a barracks for squires. I mean, our population is, like, theoretically fine. If not amazing. Oh yeah, our infantry has plus four attack, I forgot. 
can make our Varangians even more badass. Anyway, I'm not going to bother with another castle over here in Sicily unless I, like, really need to. Because I feel like I'll need a lot of stone to be repairing uh, my allies' castles. It is very exciting being a corgi. Not the first time I've said it. Not going to be the last time either. Raldida! Oh, stop it, you! Can get a leap longboat. Get dry dock as well. Garrison the castle. <laughs> Add a quadrillion extra arrows. Oh, how's the other castle doing? Uh, yeah, it's, it's fine. I don't know if I'm sold on this being only a two-sword difficulty scenario, guys. Uh, plus three bonus against cavalry and infantry. Forgot about that. Or I never knew it in the first place. One of the two. I probably lost all the villagers here. Oh well, we're probably fine for now. Until they start bringing in heavy siege, we should be fine. Speaking of which, let's get some workshops of our own, shall we? Use our double university for some good purpose. Oh, we already have Captor M. Look at those guys. Beastly stats. Oh, there's Relic all the way over there. This is what we deserve. There's a Relic on that little island. Let's go get that. Do 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 Oh no! I'm like, wait, why is my pill count seeming so low? Oh. I can't build trebuchets. Okay. Didn't know that. At least we saved one of ours, right? It seems like a pretty darn big base over here in Palermo, or at least what I assume is Palermo. I don't think I'll need you. Would count seeming a little low. Get him! Man, those Varangians are badass. transport ship here it is. These Sicilian Muslims seem no difference with what you see in the Middle East. They cannot feel the challenge from their pressure or something. Send these guys back over to Italy. I want to be able to have a town center over here. Hey, there's their castle gone.
Oh, okay, let's bring these guys forward. You can start sieging this castle. I don't know. More stuff this way I'm sure you can destroy. Oh, no. Anyway, the Byzantines seem to have unlimited resources, so I won't feel bad about taking this gold. Not that I really would anyway. It's just an AI. And I am a cruel person. Oh, wait a minute! You can't die? No! Oh no, my trap! We need more lumberjacks. Oh well, it seems like um, we are doing a okay. <gasps> I lied! I totally lied! I totally lied! No! Oh, it's so dead. Oh no. William and his brother led his men formed a powerful, ar powerful army. One of our castles has been destroyed by the Normans. No more s steps for Normans. What? Oh man, I didn't see all those traps because I was focused with over here. Timberhofmande. Oh, let's just snipe the buildings. Our guys are plenty strong enough. Oh yeah, this is a tad unfortunate. Okay, got the Emirate of Sicily. Wait, there are two Emirates of Sicily. That one's Saracens. That one's also Saracens, so they're still alive. He only got the Berber ones. Ooh. This is what we deserve. Oh. Go over there. Take down that... Oh, I know that market's from the Berber player. Yes, I know I could trade with the dead guy's market, but I, I don't think that's in the spirit of uh, really any campaign. Unless it's for some reason part of that campaign's design, which has never been the case in my fairly extensive experience. Oh. Okay, well, we're... oh, these are also still Saracens. Okay. Let's load up you guys on a transport ship, I suppose. I don't really want to start building any castles until I send my army over to protect, uh, protect the castles. Anyway, those guys are almost gone. 
Fast fire ship. Saracens don't have fast fire ship. Cheaters. Okay, well, I destroyed their docks. Oh, no. Uh, stone is a little lacking, it must be said. I don't care about yo dolphin sounds. Oh, and these guys probably can't replenish any production buildings. That's also less than great. Of course, I can't even deliver that relic. I guess we have to start with these ranges being further back. Complete those. Let's send uh, some of our ships down this way. Just to clean up the rest of those enemy stuff. The rest of those enemy stuff. Good thing I'm a native English speaker. Yeah. Let's get heated shot, murder holes, why not? I know it says I have a ton of population, but it sure doesn't feel like it. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Monk. Okay. We got both of the Emirates. Get hoardings. Start with our Varangian production. Stop! Okay, now we're going to start to sail up the coast and start taking out these docks and stuff. I know I'm buying a massive amount of stone, but I want castles because I want Varangians. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any more stone left to mine. Now, Sicilians do have heated shot if memory serves, so hopefully they don't have it researched. They do. This is what we deserve. Okay. I'll leave one transport alive. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know who you are. They know us. Uh, my men are a veteran. Uh, let's 
pretty scary. Um, I lost a lot of population and not a lot of time. Damn it. Gonna lose the castle. Oh, wait, no, not Berserks. Vrangids! Oh, wait, we're gonna lose this castle too. God damn it. How's this? And everyone died over there. Great. Just great. survives yeah not having tribes is a little bit rough I never got ring archer whoopsies or crop rotation Bows. Elite Sergeants with 90 HP. I know they're getting buffed soon, but uh, not that much. <laughs> 251 stone. I don't know why they said that, you know, you shouldn't focus the, you know, the, the enemy bases in Italy. Like, we literally have to for our objective, but maybe that's just a mistranslation. Okay, now we can add in some more forward archer ranges. Okay. Keeping on, keeping on. Apulian Rebellion! We surrender, we pledge loyalty to the Empire again. The Galactic Empire? With Palpatine and stuff? Oh man, these Varangians are such beasts! Oh, we're out of gold. That's not great. We have six villagers mining the resource. Oh, did I lose my transport ship that was over here? Namamata. Well, these Rangians, they ain't cheap. Uh, send you guys over. Oh, yeah, there's more gold over here, I forgot. Any more wood? Oh, there's wood over here. 7,028 HP. Sicilians don't have architecture. Two arms. Wait, what? The... the what? They're, they're, you're fine, Byzantines. Jeez.
I mean, I know I have 20,000 food in the bank. But, uh, it can go real fast. Oh, we never even got the docks. Especially without guilds. Like, when you're mass selling, it can get real expensive real fast. Oh, wait. Gold over here. I was, like, literally just looking at it. Donjons! It doesn't help that they have freaking hero units! Okay, that's going to be quite nice. Oh, wait. Oh, we only need to defeat the blue Normans. That might be what they meant by don't bother going into yellow. Yeah. And, th and this is something that a lot of campaign makers do, including the official ones. I think they've all done it at some point. Having multiple players with the same name, not a big fan. Like, you can literally do, you know, Norman attackers versus, you know, whatever the guy, William de Otvi. Actually, you can even just do Normans and then William de Otvi. because I find it gets very confusing. Okay, so we took out most of Yellow's navy, that's fine. Frickin' Norman Knights, man! Try and keep her cross her arbalest mass alive. Oh hey, it's the Byzantines. Oh, there's stone here. I see you. Okay, there's yellow. And they have, like, this constant stream of hero units. Oh, they're deleting stuff. I think we got it, guys. Yeah, this will, this will be hard to break. Um. Um. There we go. Norman Castle's collapse on the battlefront will not cause my men to give give up what we have here. More Normans will arrive and strike fear in you, and all Byzantine remaining forces within Italy. Yeah. Hur hurry up, my lord. More and more Norman soldiers are coming for us. You better board the ship and leave Italy as soon as possible. The Emperor needs you in Constantinople. Harold's warship. Uh-oh. Harold's warboat must not sink. I'm doing my best, man. Okay, well, that's not too bad. No one could have expected that the Normans and the Puglian soldiers would suddenly betray us with the support of the Lombards. Though we won our first few battles and crushed the enemy's attacks countless times, the enemy far outnumbered us and were almost defeated by the allied forces of the Normans and Apulian rebel rebels under Otvi de William. I'm pretty sure that's the other way around. Since the Battle of Stickelstad, when Harald was 15 years old and before his defeat in southern Italy, he was often favored by Thor, and no one had ever even heard of his defeat. However, it was also clear to me that, uh, and others, that God will not always be on our side with us. Harald with us cannot be invincible in battle all the time. 
However, this could not be separated from the fate of the Byzantine Empire itself. Not long after we had taken several Muslim-ruled cities in Sicily, the Muslim emirs on the other side of the island galloped over to take revenge on the Byzantine Emperor for their lost lands. Because this short-lived victory did not bring any meaningful glory, the governor in Italy, George Maniakes, uh, Harold, and uh, us were soon recalled to Constantinople together by the Emperor. Aw, oh, feels bad, man. Oh boy, that was a that was a quite a quite a toughie. I mean, we had a nice KD, but damn, that was definitely harder than just uh. That was harder than the last one. That one, last one was three swords. Although this one was was shorter. It was a long scenario, but it was still shorter. I mean, we probably could have pushed through this eventually, but all those hero units are quite tough. Yeah, for sure. Fun scenario, though. I, I definitely enjoyed it. Anyway, that will be Loki's Tongues. Next up will be in Constantinople itself with the Vidar's Sword. So, see you guys next time for that one.